We're going to be taking you through a typical day. Ken's 59, I'm 56. How we get in shape at this stage in life. So we're going to show you how we eat, what we do for training. And we're also going to show you a way that you can do exactly what we're doing to get in great shape in your 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond. The first thing that we're doing, which we do before every strength training, workout is we're going to have a pre-workout snack and then we're going to take you off and show you what we do at the gym. some lemon tea because we both have lemon tea don't we in the morning Ken? Yep, we do. So some people have asked me whether that means that they can't have coffee and no you can do what we you want but we just like having lemon tea it's a way of me getting some hydration in first thing in the morning so that's why I like doing. Coffee's actually a diuretic meaning it's not going to hydrate you it's going to dehydrate you so this is why we have lemon water but coffee is not bad for you per se it's absolutely fine but I just like to use this opportunity for hydration. We don't drink a massive amount of coffee we just drink it occasionally I wanted to give it a try of not drinking so much coffee and actually I found it quite easy to do. We're making cream of rice which we have as a pre-workout. So this is the cream of rice and what I'm gonna do is I kind of measure it out. Ken has more than me so I'm gonna measure out 70 grams of that which is probably about two heaps of those cups and oh, that's a bit much and Ken's gonna have about 40 grams and I'm gonna have 30 grams and then I'm just gonna combine it with protein powder this one's a, a whey protein you could use a plant protein it doesn't really matter so this is chocolate but you could use any flavor of your choice and I'm just gonna put a scoop in each and what that does is it kind of gives it flavor because the cream of rice in itself can be a bit bland it's also a way of us getting protein in because we're gonna be needing to eat protein at every meal and snack really sometimes you season it won't you with um oh yes you can put cinnamon in as well cinnamon but yeah you do need to definitely flavor this cream of rice otherwise it's going to be really really bland and i'm just adding some plant milk I've run out of that one so i'm going to add this almond milk and this is unsweetened so we're not getting too much sugar sometimes i mix it with water the only trouble with this, some people do it in the microwave, but I find it goes lumpy. I really need to stand over the stove doing it. I think it's worth the effort. The thing to remember with cream of rice is it's a fast acting carbohydrate and so it goes straight into your bloodstream, which is why we have it pre-workout. For some people, if you've got type two diabetes, pre-diabetes, and a lot of people are actually prone to insulin resistance as well when they're over 50. So maybe if you've got a high body fat percentage, it would be better to have something else as a pre-workout. So maybe some whole grain rice cakes, you know, some whole grain toast with some peanut butter powder, that kind of thing. But what you will find is it doesn't, if you mix carbohydrate with protein, it's not going to give it such a blood sugar spike. Blood sugar spike is the thing that bodybuilders want. So, but it is a trade-off between that and obviously causing health issues. Another alternative would be oatmeal with the protein powder instead. That would be great for people who are insulin resistant, type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. That would be a much better option. Oh, it smells good, Ken, doesn't it? Oh, it smells gorgeous. Really chocolatey. 
just to make sure that all the lumps are coming out. So I'm getting a workout before we've even worked out. What this does is it's quite filling. Mine's a bit smaller there than Ken's. I'm going to put some more on Ken's. My calories actually need to be less in order to get fat loss. Ken can eat a lot more because he weighs more and he's a male. His body's burning more fat or burning more energy and he's going to need a lot of energy to get through the workout. So, yeah, cream of rice. That's mm -hmm. our go-to now, isn't it? Yeah. It actually tastes really good. It looks a bit of a mess in the bowl, but it tastes good. And I found since I've been eating it, it's, my training has actually improved. We're both in a calorie deficit. And what that means is sometimes if you're in too much of a calorie deficit, you don't eat properly before training, your training's going to be compromised. That's your strength training. So it's really important to fuel your body correctly. And it's often the thing that people get wrong and assume, well, if I skip a meal, you used to do this, didn't you? You used to yeah. skip a meal. Yeah. People think that's a good way to lose weight, but actually it's not because it's really important to fuel your body correctly. So yeah. this is great stuff, but any other pre-workout snack that's like carb-based, got a bit of carbohydrate and some protein, so something like a banana in a protein shake would be ideal. So we're just going to the gym now. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're going to... <laughs> We do it, that's quite funny. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to the gym now. We always walk, don't we, Ken? Yeah, we do. Um, because what that does is it gets our steps in. So it's about a 15 minute walk to the gym. And yeah, it gets our steps in. So it's really, really useful. So we'll see you when we get in there. I'll see you when we get in there. So we've done our warmer and we're now coming on to do some bench. It's actually a decline bench. And what we do is quite a lot of what we do are five set exercises. So they're two sets on a sort of warm up medium weight. And then we do the third set on a relatively heavy weight. And the two final sets are what's called working sets and they will be really, really heavy on the maximum that we can go for kind of six reps. Go on, Ken. Final exercise, and this is the absolute killer. And these are lateral raises, but what we're doing here is we're doing a drop set. So we start off heavy on 10 reps, go to a medium weight on 10 reps, and then go to a light weight on 10 reps. So it's 30 reps without real proper rest, and it really is challenging and we've really found that we've been able to build our shoulders out really well with this exercise. So we've completed our strength training workout and I'm now going to get on the stair climber and do some hit cardio. It's just going to be 20 minutes. Burries. So you're making some oats aren't you? Oats there? yeah I'm making some oats for breakfast. Oh. Oatmeal, as they call it in the USA. I have 60 grams. So Ken's putting in 60 grams. I would probably put 50 grams in, so I have a little bit less than him. But then my carbohydrates through the day would be much less than Ken's for the rest of the day. That's almond milk, um, isn't it? Plant milk, yes. And it's unsweetened. Sweetened with protein powder. We've got a different protein powder, so this is a plant-based chocolate one. A little bit more, so... More pliable. 
So is that it, or you've got to put it back in? Or? No, that's it. Yeah. Fruit in there, lovely, look at that. And then what else? Banana. So Ken's having banana in his because he can afford to have a little bit more carbohydrate. And when I do mine, I'm gonna have less oatmeal. I'm gonna have the berries, but I'm not gonna have the banana. And I will have the protein powder mixed in. Very nice. I'm back in the kitchen and I'm gonna make my lunch. Ken's actually gone out to drop one of my kids off. We've got some chicken breast that we've already prepped up ahead. It's marinated chicken breast in yogurt. And then I've bought these whole grains just from the supermarket because it's just really quick and easy. Sometimes I've actually cooked some potato or something ahead, but I haven't got that today. And then I've made this homemade coleslaw. I'm basically just gonna plonk it all on a plate and eat it, but I will weigh it out. Probably like about 90 grams of chicken breast, something like that. Just do 100 grams. And you can see there's going to be extra protein in there because there's kind of adamami beans and lentils. So that's going to be extra protein. And then I'm just going to heat it up. And this is a very light version of coleslaw with a very small amount of mayo and it's mixed in with apple cider vinegar. That means it's not so high in calories. We are just on our way to a photo shoot. You can see it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm just gonna go and get my makeup done and then we're going down to a studio and we're getting some photos done. So we've got a new program that's actually already out for couples. The beauty of that is when you've got a photography shoot, it gives you a goal to work towards. So that's what we've been doing with our fitness. Taking care of what we're eating, how we eat is all inside this couple's app. Meal plans for men and women in this couple's app. We've been working out, haven't we? Yeah, we certainly have. If you book a photography shoot, it actually gives you a goal to work towards. It doesn't matter what shape or size you are. At the moment, I'm not like stage lean. You don't have to be a fitness model to do a photography shoot. It's for anyone. The photographer that we're, we're using today, he does people of all shapes and sizes but it's just something where you know you want to look your best so it's a good idea to do it. It's about promoting a healthy lifestyle. Ken loves to do his cardio in a group environment so he goes to a local gym where he does a class in the evenings. It's a high intensity interval training class. It fits right in with how we recommend you work out if you're over 40. We've just prepared our last meal of the day and it's salmon and veggies. We just bought one of those stir-fried vegetable bags. They're already prepped up. I just stir-fried that and put like a salmon in. Ken's just got back from training, so we like to kind of cut our carbs in the evening. Last meal of the day is always quite light. A little bit of dessert. I've got this low-calorie ice cream. Ken's having a cup of tea, cup of tea. aren't you? Lucky me. It's 250 calories per tub, so that's the whole tub. This is 500 ml, so I'm going to have about 100 ml. So it's kind of really low in calories. 100 ml, that gives me a treat. It is going to have like carbohydrates in it, but not that many carbs. So it won't push me over my limit because my evening meal and my lunch was pretty low in carbs. Just a small bowl of ice cream. So that was a typical day for us with our eating and our training. You saw there that Ken does slightly different training. He likes, you like to go to a class, don't yeah, you? Yeah, like um, to go to a class, do the cardio. It's um, easier for me. 
Yeah, because some people, they like that kind of group exercise environment, whereas you saw, I just like to fit mine in straight after strength training. So you've got to kind of make this work for you. But we've got a really special program that we're quite excited about, which is a couple's meal plan and workout program. It's an app called Lean and Strong, isn't it? Lean and Strong. And we've kind of developed that with you in mind if you are a couple or maybe you want to do it with a loved one or a really close friend but what doing this together does is it sort of gives us accountability doesn't Accountab it i'm accountable to you yeah, yeah and i'm so. accountable to you aren't i yeah I'm, i couldn't never i would never have reached where i am now without the accountability yeah some people are different but I need to be pushed. And um, working with a partner, my partner, has helped me tremendously. It's great, yeah, it works for me. I find that when we started, I was sort of at a different level from Ken. What it's done is it's really brought my strength training on in particular, like my upper body. I've just achieved a sort of um, personal best on my bench press by working out with Ken. So having somebody that you're accountable to, especially with the food because the food can be quite challenging yeah. at times but if you do it together we eat our meals together we prepare our food and we don't just prep it for one it's for both of us isn't it yeah, that's right yeah. so it just really helps if you can do this together so we've developed this program in mind so that if you've got someone you want to do this with it's gonna work so much better for you than doing it on your own because it's actually quite tough doing it on your own isn't well, it yeah definitely is because you you have your your weak moments and having a partner kind of it pushes you as well because you do you're doing it for each other not just for yourself basically if you can do it with someone it's actually going to bring your training on more it's going to bring on the food side of it more especially if you eat together because you know you eat together so you're going to have the same meals together can eat more than me but essentially it's the same food we eat out together as well yeah, don't that's we right. that's right yeah so and with that it's it's about your health as well trying to improve your health in life and your activity going out and you're walking improving your mobility and yeah. having a better lifestyle with that you know when you go on a holiday you have a better time you can go up the stairs and no problem which i did at first i couldn't get up and down the stairs as well as i can now yeah so it's massive improvements you've done really well and and um what it means for me i don't have to worry about ken or his health or anything because he's doing everything in his power to take care of his health but we're doing it together yeah. so it makes it much easier to do it together and it kind of brings us closer together take a look at it have a look you can always get in touch with any questions either me or somebody in my team will sort of take care of you